Hello! Just a quick recap from part one. This is part two of the zebras, and the reason I have two zebras is because I had a pattern and I cut two different colors at one time, and then I alternated those colors, so it made two. So welcome to Two Zebras Part Two. Ronbo is going to be the one that I am gluing together and then sanding. I got a tip, left me a message and said, hey, there's something called the accelerator for super glue that you spray on. Said they got it at Hobby Lobby. So went on down to Hobby Lobby and guess what? I found some, they call it activator here, but I looked it up too and there is uh, accelerator and zap or something like that. Anyway. I glued some of this together with that. Awesome! You just hold it and beep, it's together as if you had clamped it. And since these pieces are so small and they're so hard to clamp, I think it's working really well. A little spray. A little drop of glue. And attach. Voila! Sweet! Oh, I like it a lot. Thank you for the tip. So I'm going to do some sanding and see what else I need to fill. bunch of stuff on Ronbo that needs to dry. So let's move on to Estrobo. I'm gonna sand up Ronbo and see how those gaps look and see if we're, I'm all done filling those gaps up. It's looking pretty nice. I think I'll get some hand sanding out and get rid of some of those little grooves. I think I'll work on the eyes next. I'm gonna smooth up that edge. Taking a good look at Ronbo here, and I need to smooth up some edges and some other edges. So I'm going to do that next, and it's close to getting done. I'm sanding this and there's a knot and it's kind of pitchy and it smells really good. This is a lot of sanding. Ronbo is pretty much ready to be glued up. I have some of this green and I'm thinking it would be really cool if there were like some tall green grasses growing up around and behind Ronbo. So I think I will cut some grass before I glue Ronbo onto the backboard.
Now I'm thinking maybe this same wood, green color, as a frame. I discovered a really cool tool for cleaning up. An eraser. Ronbo from my tall work table to a lower bench, actually husband's big old bench that, that he made, just so I can get a better perspective on how it looks so far. I have this sticking up out of the frame, but I think I like it. So I'm gonna glue it. John came out to see what I was doing, so he's hanging out with me now. I'll glue it up. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. Working on Esther Bow, still sanding with the 100 grit and shaping. 150. Well, it seems like I sanded for a million years yesterday. So it's a new day and I'm on to 220. So this is my final sanding of Estrabo. I'm finally finished sanding. And I got some backer board cut out. So I'm gonna start gluing. Esther Bow is all glued up and dry. I cut this eye out of teak. I like it better. I glued in that teak eyeball, and I think I will just figure out the framing later, if at all. So there's Esther Bow. I'm really excited about taking these two zebras and getting them all sprayed. Well, here are the two zebras, Estrabo and Ronbo. And the differences are Ronbo, all the pieces got glued up at one time, and Estrabo, all the pieces are individual. And I'm ready to spray them. I had never read the directions before on how to use this stuff. It says to shake the can for two minutes. Do people really do that? Well, I did it this morning. I'm gonna let that first coat dry. I brought Ronbo and Esterbo in. So here is Esterbo and here is Ronbo. And I wanna say a special thank you to Ron and Esther Borman for sending me the beautiful wood from Ecuador. And I had a lot of fun making these two zebras. 
it was a, a lot of work since I was making two at one time, but it was fun. So thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.